Hello everyone, welcome to Real English Online. My name's Liam and today we're back with another vocabulary video. And today our topic is going to be slightly different. For those people who like geography or perhaps are doing uh, an English exam, this will be very useful. Um, so these words are all about mountains. Alright, so let's have a look at what we're doing. So, the summit or the peak of a mountain, the valleys, slopes, the ascent and the descent and altitude okay so the, here are five words that we uh, associate with mountains and you can see I'm sure those uh, mountains there look very like the Mourne Mountains where I come from in Northern Ireland so without further ado here's the first word so the summit or the peak now this is very simple the summit or the peak is literally the very very top of the mountain so you can see this wow um, I don't know what mountain that is I don't think it's Everest but getting to the top of that looks like it would be a serious challenge okay so that has the summit is the bit right at the very top and this is obviously the bit that all the climbers are trying to get to okay I can see the snow on the mountain peaks yes yeah, so or the very top the coldest part and they climb to the summit in only four hours okay that's nothing some people if you're climbing Everest it th takes days okay so the peak or the summit the top of the mountain valley now if you have two mountains the valley is in the middle okay so you can see here there's mountains in the background and here there's a beautiful river meandering through the valley looks absolutely picturesque okay so the valley is the area in between um, two mountains the, um, we climb down the mountain and into the valley slopes now there are two types of slope really there are steep slopes like that which <laughs> would be very difficult to climb and also extremely tiring and then more gentle slopes okay as you can see here which are much um, they're not as steep they're much easier to climb okay so how steep a hill is okay and as I said you have really two okay a steep slope like this or a gentle slope uh, as well um, so it was difficult to climb because the slope was so steep or I enjoy skiing but only on gentle slopes so obviously you don't want to go too fast for example to ascend and descend ah, so if you ascend you are going up and if you descend you are going down so you can ascend some stairs or descend some stairs but we're dealing with mountains so ascending the mountain is climbing up which I think is a little bit harder than descending although as you'll see from these pictures here that looks like no fun at all <laughs> beautiful view but oh wow that is gonna hurt and here's descending or maybe actually they're ascending but anyway if you're descending somewhere like that you can see just from the picture here how dangerous it is if you're going down there one wrong move down you go okay so ascend go up descend go down the toughest part of the climb was the ascent and I kept falling over as we were descending the mountain and finally altitude okay so altitude is to do with how high you are and the higher you go up a mountain like especially um, if you're climbing a big mountain like Everest or something like that the higher you go the less oxygen there is and the harder your body has to work um, so altitude affects people in different ways um, and altitude is usually um, expressed as meters above um, sea level so I think um, uh, Mount Everest is something like 8,848 8, meters above sea level or something so extremely high alright um, so 
the higher the altitude, the harder it is to breathe, and this is why you'll see people actually um, climbing Everest with oxygen bottles and things like that. If you get to the top of Everest, the altitude, oh, there it is, 8,848 meters above sea level, you need oxygen to reach the summit, all right? Unless you're, like, seriously fit. Um, okay, so thank you very much for watching, guys. Here's your little quiz so you can try um, testing yourself to see if you know these words. Uh, so, and the answers are coming anytime now. Okay, so that's all for now. Bye.